Lo-Fi Chill Land. <laughs> Hello, uh, my name is John Limcool. Hands together, head bowed. Welcome. Uh, so Lo-Fi is a genre that is kind of a little <laughs> more sedated than chill, <laughs> in a way. Uh, it's it's kind of what I used to remember. Uh, chill has kind of like gotten a little bit more up tempo, a little bit more four on the floor oriented and stuff. So lo-fi is kind of like kind of fighting and going back in that way, I think a little bit. So a lot of the patches in this library are aimed at that. Right? This is a little bit more up tempo. So a little bit of everything. I get it together is cool. Um, one note gives you all of that. And then up above, and then on the page for the knobs, All sorts of stuff. You can change the lead sound to a strings. Turn on shakers. Get stereo shakers playing. Lots of fun stuff to play with. Um, really, really cool. So I'm going to go through all 250 patches. I'm not going to take forever. Um, I might skip some of the patches because they're just <laughs> so many. Uh, this is a library created by Matthias Sauer uh, from Germany. He is a talented individual. This is the second library for Unify he's released. He also did Unichill about a year ago, which is a really, really cool library that has all sorts of more... Uh, Ambi, chili. Which is really cool. There's a whole different vibe to what you're going to find in lo-fi. So let's start with the basses. Now, there's real-time macro knobs. There's typically just like up to four or so on a patch. And then the keyboard is purple. For most every patch, except for there's two drum kits, a whole bunch of BPM drum grooves, let me do a quick summary. So there's 25 bass patches. There's 71 BPM ARP bass key pad sequence. So the sequences are really cool. Check this out. We'll get to these when, and play through all of them. But what's fun with these is these are MIDI files. Play one note. So you can go here to load. I want to load a drum groove. And the drums. Here's a new lo-fi kit. Just click one of these. And you're on your way. Add some percussion. Right? So the sequences are really cool because it's like a whole song on a finger. For those of you that don't play, they're MIDI files in Unify doing the whole bit of a song that you can now build around. And they're really creative. Matthias did a really cool job with those. Then there are 51 BPM drum and percussion. If I go back here to normal, it has a really cool vibe to it. Um, there's a, the drum kit actually up here at the end of the list. Greens the kicks, reds the snares. So there's a lot of kicks, lots of snares, two different sets of toms. Lots of hi-hats there, as well as all up here. Lots of stuff. Uh, we'll go through the summer when we get there. There's a lot of guitar patches. There's 12 guitar patches, two hit, 27 key patches, which is really, really great. 18 leads, 15 pads, seven plucks, five string patches, and 12 synth patches. So 
That's a lot in one library, my friends. So let's start with the basses. Nice and buzzy. Good stuff. Again, you don't need anything but Unify to play these. BPM ARPs. These go all over the place, different ways of using them. Very subtle in some cases, happy hour. Lo-fi starter suite. I just want to write music when I start playing these. Uh. Right, uh, number three. I just want to start writing music with these. They're really nice. Cool. Uh, here's next summer. It sounds like the start of a car commercial. <laughs> uh, one note, lo-fi jam. There you go. <laughs> Let's 
play different notes, it transposes the MIDI data. Go over here, add a bass. Let's go over here, say, add an instrument layer. <laughs> and you're on your way to having hours of fun. Um. Cool. Let's see here in jam three. I'll just play one note. I'm, I'm kind of bouncing around the chords. I'm going to just play one note. I like that little broken part at the end. One note. Now you can build a whole song around this. Different layers, different plugins, all sorts of stuff. Get a singer to come sing. Is that fun? Uh, <laughs> I recorded some ambiences when I was in Costa Rica that are in Unify, and this is using those <laughs> for the birds. Ah, uh, cool. Just, I mean, the whole idea with this library is just tons of starter ideas for you to get creative. It's really, really cool. Off. Get nice and open. start i mean it's like by the time this is done i'm gonna have like 20 songs written uh let's see here bpm basses this is kind of fun drum groove. Okay, so just one note, just have fun. You get the idea. You can just. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, Jackie. And typically with one of these, you'd like have a drum groove going. If you don't have one, we have a whole bunch. Just set this to unify slash drum. Go to BPM drums, choose any one. And if you want, you can double click where it says unify. That will open this layer of Unify. And you can choose a different drum groove. T 
say find the one you like. And then you could click the little plus, add a new empty layer, add some other drum groove element, add break tweaker. I mean, there's so many places to go with what's going on here. So, ah, yeah. So Jackie is cool. Uh, here's Protonic. These they have drums that come up. If you want, you just click the little little green dot right here, and that will mute it so it's not playing. And if you click the little green dot again, it's on, but it waits till the new note. And it's in. Okay. Sub zero fifths. programmed up so I <laughs> it's a bass but you can do stuff across the keyboard got the drums you can turn off shakers are separate idea right it's just fun 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 uh synchro low flutes right uh four by four now bpm drums and they're lo-fi i i like did a lot of work on the samples to make sure they didn't sound impressive, <laughs> but vibed. It's, it's it's impressive in its own way. Um, this is using the 808 kit. We have an 808 library for free for Unify, and uh, Matthias wanted to use that, so he just use it, makes, make his own grooves for it. These are all using the 808 kit. And again, you've got all sorts of controls here to play with. And then here's the lo-fi kit. And there's 20 different patterns. If you want, they're all here on the knob, number eight. For all of these, but I also made patches for each one you could call up. Right? Really lo fi, man. <laughs> and I believe you could go over here if you wanted to make it even more lo fi, you could add chow tape which is right here, distortion chow tape. They've got presets down here. Go to degrade, turn this on. You can add in like subtle noise and stuff like that to it. Really, really fun. So there's all these patterns. And again, if you want, you can use the knob on any one of these to cycle at any time between any of the patterns in real time. So if you want to make your own grooves, you can. If you automate that into your sequencer, it will play back. And now you have a new groove. Uh, if you open up MIDI box, you can actually watch and see it as it cycles. And it says up in the window here at the top what pattern it is too. Right? So it's 
that's one of the fun things we can do with Unify now. So there's lots. I'm not going to play every one, but you get the idea. Just hi-hats. Because you could go here to say with Unify Drum, click other patches. I think there's some snares down here. So let's add a perk. Snare. So you can go that way if you want to like make from instead of a whole groove as one patch. Uh, some of the components are there for you to play with and do stuff like that. BPM key. Something fun. And the drums, they're off, but you can turn them on. So all sorts of, wait, I, I, uh, yeah. Cool, eternal calling. Lay down. Got that kind of sucking uh, pump kind of effect from Pump House. Uh, Lo-Fi Buddies. Oh, Lo-Fi Wah Buddies. And it's all tempo synced. So if we want to set drum. Off you go. Right? Uh beep and key piano -ish. Demo 200. Uh, cool. All right. Uh, BPM kick. Another kick that's not a four on the floor, but a bounce. Uh, BPM pads. Autumn leaves. Averna. Cool. Uh, Blue Cave. Definitely feels like you're in a <laughs> blue cave. Sure. <laughs> Breath. Very cool. And that's tempoed up so you could be playing and playing. Nature. Field of Wind. You can bring out the pump. 
or remove it altogether. And of course, any of these knobs you can automate as you're going along. Friend. Lazy, this is lo fi lazy love vocoder using the vocoder. Nice and dirty. Got it. Let's move. Uh, London Knights. Nice meow. Uh, Mellow Vox. a little bit of subtle motion it's really nice <laughs> oh Matthias from subtle motion to this one way surf <laughs> okay sometimes shy right then we get to percussion, and I made these, so there's there's on and off both here, part four, and on page two for the others, so you can turn off the congas. And it only changes when you play a new note, so you can adjust these. It's still playing just a shaker. Play a new note. So you can use these and automate those to sequence percussion lines. It's it's really handy. And all you have to do is just change the MIDI file in MIDI box to whatever pattern you want to make. Um, and you can use this for a song as a template just using your own MIDI files. I have to make a video showing you how to do that because that's really, really fun. Uh, other things. Alternative percussion. Oh, this is fun. Let's go to drums just for a second so you hear how it works. I go over and say between drums. Cool vibe. Then we can go to the standard library. <laughs> Add a clap. And another drum groove from the standard library, like Jakarta. Let's do the breakdown and the groove. <laughs> I can't help it. I can't help it. Sorry. But that's... Give me 15 seconds and unify, and we're going to get in trouble. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Taped instables. So inst Uh, all right, here we go. Our back at tape instable will be just plain normal, but you get the idea. That's how far out you can go quickly. Again, if I put a groove to this, you'd be like, oh, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> All right. Now, these are cool. These are the BPM sequences. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five
One Note. We can turn parts on and off. All the drums on and off with this switch. Or you can turn that back on and then selectively choose, I don't want shakers, I don't want the snare, and it's changing things inside a Unify. This layer of Unify, it's muting and enabling and disabling them. Change different notes. Uh, not all of them are programmed to that level. Just one part. Just playing D. And if I was to go here and say a uh, unify layer, so I can click and it will add to a unify layer, a base. The base doesn't change. You'd have to go over here to this unify layer, this MIDI box, and put it in a base MIDI file that followed the chords. I really, you can find stuff like this the way you like, and then the key is to just go over here and change the MIDI channel so that you're, you're working in your DAW now, and this first part is on MIDI channel one, the drums are on MIDI channel two, so you can do this. Go to MIDI channel two and play a bass line or the drums and so forth. So it's Unify is great for like putting together and finding things that work together to make something and now turn it into something in your sequencer or play it live, all that kind of stuff, right? So BPM sequence, common solid. Uh, <laughs> let's go back to normal loading and load that one more time. So we see here's cello pits. A uh, dark chip. Two. Minor. Feeling alone. Let's go over here, add percussion. Good friend, that'd be nice. Yeah, that's a good friend. Here's Hip Grand. <laughs> Played from VHS tape. in a dream oh I love this one I've played with this one some and it's it's really nice Kali Love. <laughs> Lo-fi piano ballad. So many ways to use this. You could layer this. wanted to duplicate this say duplicate copy the MIDI box settings because you're gonna lose it go down here let's say to replace the layer guru sampler let's say like maybe plucky klamath 
Now go over here, say MIDI box, so it's back, and then go over here and say paste state. And take it down an octave and maybe a little bit darker to start. Now you've layered it. Right? So these are really useful, all sorts of ways to go places. Um, here's nice things. I just want to drums. I just, it just it's like, oh, I hear where that could go. All sorts of places. The pitch bin in there. Nice. So here's Perk Polly. Cool. Wobbly organ. Definitely in the lo-fi kind of vibe, right? Snare. Two and fours. Here's Crawdad Chillax. This is the... These are splits, which means there's something in the right hand. Get it together. Once I showed you earlier, you've got all the controls and stuff, crazy stuff. lo-fi party support uh, stay and play a while Right, uh, TGIF eighty eight. Now we get into BPM synth. Kind of cool, like an element for the groove. Kind of works almost for bass and leads. Underdog comp. Right? 
some chords, doing MIDI box to play chords, play one note. I'll show you a little secret. If you go to MIDI box, I snuck a whole bunch of MIDI files into the standard library in this Unify 1.8 update. So if you go to Unify Standard Library, click here, it will open up and you'll see this Cloud City MIDI box chords. There's all of these. Major. There it is as a glyph versus a hit. All sorts of hits. So you can expand this one hit into all sorts just by opening MIDI box and going to that folder. Okay, so there you go. Now this one you can't because this is in the samples that have a fifth in them. Here's the drum kits. Sixty one samples. And if you want, you can hit the little B button. That will turn on MIDI box. It's set to a pattern to play. Open this up, hit the plus button, and you're changing patterns. Okay. In the 808, this is the 808 kit. It only goes up to E, E4. Short and long 808s. Whole bunch of different vibes of 808s all in one kit. Guitar. We are out of BPM, so now everything just play. mellow Isn't that nice uh chilled guitar nice little bit of a wah here's another wah sounds really nice really in a, great in a track Rainbow. Saloon. Kind of banjo, but still it's frequency limited, so it's lo fi. Okay, strat reverse. These are samples that are reversed. If you open Guru Sampler, you have a little setting here to set between forward. Oh, and then you have to put this like. But if you put the sample start here and reverse it, you're now. <laughs> so if you need to do some weird bad dream moments, I'll do it. Like guitar, but pad. Uh, 
World Dreamer. Nice. Uh, hits. Uh, then we get to keys. And like I said, there's like 27 keys. So keys are so important for lo-fi, right? So there's tons of variations. Dream 2. Perfect, perfect, perfect. No attack, just this huge space. Nice. Um. Bell verb. Cheesy ensembles. Nice. Uh, more reverses. Really nice. Dark Clav. Nice and warm. Okay. Uh, wave Drift. Early LA is kind of a D50. Kind of nod towards D50. If you wanted this to be even more, take that bright sound that's the attack. Go over here to reverb, add water verb. <laughs> Set it like 95. Make it sustain out, bring up the low pass filter so it's open. Okay. Uh, H Windy Organ. Some lo fi grands. Great. All that lo fi mellow vibe. Uh, number three. Four. It's like, what key do I play in?
Interesting. Lo-fi FM roads. I made this using a DX for the DX7 element, so it's like, like a real DX7 vibe. But I changed the harmonic so it doesn't sound like one you've heard before. And then it's got a Rhodes layered with it, so it's really nice. Uh, Mellow Fine Layer. One and one. Piano cloud. Very nice. Semi operator. FM element, that's from the MDA DX10. You can change it around easily to all sorts of simple, it's just two operators, so it's not complicated. That's why we have it there, it's nice. <laughs> the baby organ. wobbly organs very nice stereo play there <laughs> okay last keyboard All sorts of cool leads. It's using Clang Falter, and I had crinkled paper and all sorts of things up as convolution, um, like sound design presets. Kind of fun. Atari game. Delirium. You're getting very sleepy. Uh, Hakan? can see it. Low fine Vox. Got the little portamento on the mono. Nice. Melody reversed. So you can find reverse in a handful of different places, which is nice. Uh, one Oscar. Uh, sample box. Okay, snappy rain. Cool. Very lo-fi. 
uh, Stone Mod 1. Stone Mod 2. Monophonic Piano, that's cool. And if you want that glide to be faster or slower, just open Guru's sampler. It's right in here, glide. Stone. Very unique. Uh, Stinger. Tick tock. Vintage bell. Whistler. Okay, and pads, lots of pads. Fifteen. And if you want to change it to be even more lo fi, you can open the master EQ. Take down the high end. Take down the low end. Just strip anything away from it so it's all like just without, with. So you can play with it all sorts of different ways. Nice stereo panning going back and forth. Right. Awakening. Super mellow. Digital mist. Machine Choir. That's a vocal sample from Creature-esque. And then Chow Matrix and LFOs are playing with it to do some stuff. So that's Uh, Airfield 1988. Nice. Lo fi chamber. We've had a very long time. Organ one. Okay, organ two. A nice a seashore.
Very nice. Short harmony. Siberia. Sweet body. Some crinkles in there. Okay, yesterday. Okay, that's the end of the pads. Now we get to some plucks. There's seven. Super short clave. Clicker. Nice lo-fi, nice things. Nice things too. Uh, operator FM. Tonk. Some string pizzicato. So much stuff to play with. Okay, low five strings too. tunes then harmonics Synth stuff. Isn't that cool? It's a reverse. like a pad but plays like a piano it's cool uh, dark chip two nice uh great clouds Love. Uh, perk poly one, two, and three.
Group 3. And finally, Retro Brass. <laughs> okay, so that is Una Lo Fi, Volume 1 for Unify. 250 patches made by Matthias Sawa. Um, it's a wonderful library. Um, Matthias has been involved in making patches for lots of synthesizers for Yamaha, um, other companies in the, in, I, I think he's doing stuff now. I don't know what he's, top secrets. We can't tell me if he's doing something right now, but he knows what he's doing. And this is a very inspiring library in lots of places. And it's fun to work with him on this. And so I hope you all enjoy this. And uh, boy, I, I'm done playing for a while. Think I can take a break. <laughs> all right. So thanks for watching. Enjoy. Thank you for your support. And we'll see you in the next video. Okay. Bye.